now he knows his hook. G'day guys and welcome back to the Salty Channel. So today's episode, we're on the beach. We're going to put these two big dog rods out. I just did a mad session of herring just then. Colour over here seems to be moving. But when I rocked up, that wasn't there, but it's just over there. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to cast this uh, little lure, this little pilly, and see what happens, eh? I don't know what it is. Let's see what it is. It's moving though. Hopefully I can get out there. School of something. It's herring, guys. Huh. Bloody beautiful, too. Big school of them out there. In we go. A little pilly. Just two herring is all I'm asking for. And big rods. Oh, hit. Yep. Woo. They fight hard, these uh, herring. Put an easterly as well, so I might put a balloon out. Yes. There we go. One and two. Okay, mate. Guys, I've just headed down to the beach and look, look at all this bait. Just came in. They're all alive as well. Oh, it's all white bait. That's crazy. Something out there scaring them in. Look at them all. Look at that. It's amazing. So what I want to show you guys is the resemblance of this pili that I'm using as lure to the white bait that's washed up. How's that? How cool is that? So similar. Is that better? Let's see if we can get another one. Just pop it in. We're in quite shallow, so don't have to cast too far. Oh, yep, we are on. like that guys oh he's off <coughs> oh let me just wash him up for ya do the feisty one oh there you go <laughs> he's just get in the bucket so that's how you do it hopefully we have a good evening Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And how's that little pilly I was using? Look like a white bait, and that's what the herring were chasing. But uh, we have an easterly right now. I've been the little guy. I'm set up. I'm ready to go. Just got to get my big rod up and going and we've just had a herring jump out so there is my quick herring bash that is plenty i've got to get him in because he's live oh he doesn't want it. he wants to go let's turn this guy into a big dog oh come on mate let's 
get this balloon out. Just let this uh, wind take this balloon out. Okay folks, so what's happening now is, is we're at that uh, pretty dull period of fishing when there's nothing really around. So what I'm going to do is, my tummy's grumbling, I'm going to knock up uh, three of these beautiful herring. Absolutely stunning fish. They're actually pretty fat actually. So what I did is I caught them on this pilchard. So if you want to know what it is, it's just a little uh, Gillies Lumo, probably 10 grams, 5 grams. Probably five dollars I think that was but anyway let's fill up these fish and what I'm gonna do is make a nice slider herring slider is what I'm gonna make filleted skinned all ready to go into a batter so what I've got here, just some self-raising, salt and pepper inside. I'm going to use uh, the soda water. You've got to use soda water for batter. Oh! I don't want to mess this up. Just sort of making sure that it's not too much soda water. Perfect. That is going to be perfect. I'll just screw that on. Thought I'd have something to eat now, otherwise uh, when the sun goes down, I won't be eating anything. Let me just give this a good shake, get all the lumps out. That's going to be perfect. Fantastic. So now what I'm going to do is, get the fillets in there. Pretty simple. That's going to be heaps for me. One thing I've learnt is I've got to downsize the recipes because I'm only by myself. That's it. Give it a good old covering. That's it. It's got oil in here. Turn on the jet boil. So simple. These are, my, these are my sliders I'm using, guys. The old brioche tiny sliders. I've got some uh, organic greens as well from the garden. And I think I've got like a chutney in here, I think, or a pickle to go with it. Bit of mayo, beautiful. I'm just gonna let that heat up, get this fish cooking. moment of truth guys look at that absolutely sensational herring slider we're gonna make it <laughs> we've got the bun what's a slider without some chilies got some pickled uh, zucchini from my garden it's about another chili got some beautiful greens mate can't forget organic tomatoes 
and just slap this beautiful piece of herring on top. We can't forget the mayo. Oh yeah. Okay, look at that. Let's put this on top. There you go. How beautiful does that look? Let's try it out. Oh. The freshness of the fish. Oh, I'm spitting it everywhere. Homegrown vegetables. I mean salads. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. I've just got a wicked plate here. I'm just going to pick at it while I'm sitting down, watching the rods. Finally, I don't feel very big though, it could be a tailor. Oh, this wind is howling. Woo! It's just come out of nowhere. It's the best time. This is the time I've been waiting for too. Hopefully it's a tailor. And it is. We got one. Beautiful. Definitely size. There's no more sun anymore. It's just all cloud cover and the flies are horrendous. How I do my tailor is he's, he's dead now i just put the knife straight in there nick it i don't cut all the way through and then i just put it in a bucket of water done leave it in there for about five ten minutes and put it on ice so he's ready to be put on ice i reckon beautiful in my bag Just do it this way so it doesn't stink out yes give it all the blood fish another tailor right eh? just like pecking on that and then uh yeah and he just took it Oh no, it's not a shovel nose. I thought it was a tailor. Let's check this out, guys. How you going, buddy? Oh, poor sucker. Get you out, get a photo, put you back. Oh, he's definitely swallowed that. Oh, man. Alrighty, folks, I'm gonna be really careful with him. I wanna break his back. How's that? How beautiful is that? You can actually eat them, they're really nice, but I'm gonna put him back. Okay, mate. There he goes. Oh. All right, let's rebate that baby and uh, get on. While we're waiting around, guys, I'm just gonna get a little fire going for tonight. Just a little small one. Watch 
sun come down. Ready to go guys. We've got the fire going. The little beast is ready to go. Two fresh baits. I'm having a bevy. Watching the sun go down. Can't get better than this, eh? But um, it's going a little bit quiet. Hopefully uh, we hook up to some more tail or even a mulloway or something. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down because these flies are pretty bad, man. Oh, I've washed my face. I've had a bit of a jump in there. Had a bit of a clean up, but uh, man, the flies are bad. So I'm just going to sit on this seat here right now. Kick back. Watch the rods, enjoy it. Something's not right here. Yep. Fish on. <laughs> Man, these bloody bugs. Look, <laughs> they're in my eyeballs and everything. Can't even see what's going down. What do we got here? Oh no! No! Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to take this to the car. I can't even see with all these bugs. Let's see what happened. Can't believe that. There you go. Probably a shark. All the snails are gone, or a big tailor. It's pulling drag pretty well, so I don't think that was a uh, tailor. <sighs> Feels like a bit of fraying on that as well, but hey. All right, let's uh, re-rig that up and get it back out. Tighten this up a bit. What do we got? What have we got here? Probably a ray or something. It's not fighting though. Oh, now he knows his hook. Oh, man, I tell you, tonight's been full of all sorts. There he is, the ray. I'm just going to use this swell to bring him in. Let's sort this guy out. See you later, mate. All right, folks, I am calling it quits. So how's that for a session today? We had herring, then I made those absolutely lovely sliders. I've got a, uh, a tailor, I lost a tailor, 
and I lost either a shark or a could have been a snapper, could have been anything, but that was 60 pound leader just bitten straight off. But um, more than likely a shark though. But um, we've got an eagle ray as well, but it's gone dead now. The tide is going down. I've set up my swag actually. I am sleeping here tonight. The fire is nearly out. So I've just got to reel in the other rods and uh, hopefully all the bait's gone because I just can't be bothered taking the new bait off. But um, what I'm going to do is just crash out. I might get the rods out in early in the morning. So, but I'm going to cut this video right here. But if we have a sensational morning, it will be part two of this. Um, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a like. Give me a bloody subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay salty. Woo! Man, I am knackered. Hey guys and welcome. G'day guys. G'day guys. G'day guys and welcome back to the... So Guys, that southwesterly's in. Alrighty, guys. As I just fillet those herring, and uh, there you go, guys. There you go, filleted, skinned, ready to go. Alright. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys. So, what's going on now is. the flies righty guys a beautiful green back you know what I'm gonna get this guy on ice all right guys all right folks I am sitting down all righty guys I am Let's catch a fish.